They, they have a few things in common. They're all teammates. They're your sisters. Uh, forever. In Christ. Baptism is, is just coming home. Coming home safe. Connecting with the one who endured so much in order to bring you home because he loves you. And you couldn't think of an eternity apart from him. You believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven. You believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered with the conscious eye, was crucified, died, buried, descended into hell. Third day, he rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and one day he will come again to judge the Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins? The resurrection of the body and the life of the rest. Do you renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways? Do you wish to be baptized? Hi, my name is Sierra Woods. Hi, my name is Alyssa Jabara. Hi, my name is Georgia Keo. Jesus is my savior and my refuge. Jesus is someone that has committed themselves to this religion, someone that is for it, um, someone that is definitely a leader almost. For the religion, he is um, a complete role model. He definitely puts others before himself, and it makes them really selfless. So that's almost like a role model to me to help others before I help myself. Jesus is the Messiah. He's the one who sacrificed himself on the cross for us. He will always have me in his heart, even if no one else will. Through my time here at Concordia, Jesus has taught me that life is just one big, beautiful journey, no matter how messy and unpredictable it is. And with the atmosphere here at Concordia, I've learned to tackle anything I can put my mind to, and that I have this big family here waiting for me with open arms. The environment, I would say, more than anything, is I've had multiple people come up to me saying, Oh, for some weird reason, Jesus has told me to come up to you and just tell you to have a great day or um, just to keep doing what you're doing. You have a great path in life. And I'm not talking like my friends or family who believe in faith, but random people in a grocery store or even um, over spring break for softball at Cracker Barrel. This one guy was just kept coming up to me and giving me a penny with a cross on it. Having to go to the mission trip for Panama in Panama City has definitely been another reason why I wanted to get baptized is seeing the people down there and just being able to help them and um, do whatever we can. I feel like that's kind of a role of what Jesus wanted to do. That his name, his, uh, his power, his role, and um, definitely that has led me to where I am now. So during the fall semester, I was really struggling uh, with my degree choice. I was unsure of where it would lead me after college, and I don't really know how to explain it. But one day I just woke up thinking I should turn my biology degree into a science teaching degree. I think it was just God's way of guiding me along my path. To me, baptism means that I've chosen to give my life to Christ and live through Him. Baptism to me is, um, where you give yourself up to God. It's almost uh, renewing yourself and just starting a new life through Jesus. Baptism is giving my complete mind, body, and soul over to God and committing myself wholly. I'm getting baptized because within the past three years here at Concordia, I've realized the impact that Jesus has on my life. I decided to take this next step just so I can be true to myself, but also true to my faith. And I also believe that uh, just being able to say that I'm baptized just makes me one step closer to God and honestly that's what I wanted to do is take that next step. I'm getting baptized to begin my religious journey with Jesus. It's the start of my path and I hope it takes me somewhere glorious. What I love most about Jesus is that no matter where I'm at in my spiritual journey that I know that he'll love me unconditionally. I love that Jesus is so selfless. Um, just putting others in front of him is definitely something I look up to and something I would hope to be one day, just being as selfless as he is and um, just being able to give 100% effort into everything he does and just being able to help others in any way that he can. I love that Jesus is always behind me in my corner, the thought of him always having me in his heart. He's a really um, big role model for humankind. 
and I think that just by following him makes me a better person. Hi, my name is Sierra Woods, and this is my baptism story. Hi, my name is Alyssa Javara, and this is my baptism story. Hi, my name is Georgia Keel, and this is my baptism story. Hi, I'm Pastor Randy Duncan. I'm the campus pastor here at Concordia University. Well, you've just heard these incredible baptism stories uh, from three of my friends, teammates on the softball team, who are now sisters because they've been baptized into the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They have the same Father, and so that makes them sisters. We are family here at Concordia. It's really an honor to be able to baptize these three, and I know that God is going to work powerfully in their lives. And it's so wonderful to be able to hear their testimony and how God loved them and accepted them. They're just responding to, to that kind of love. As the scripture says, we love him because he first loved us. And so this connection and baptism totally changes identity, allows them to know that uh, in spite of anything that happens in their life, they are so loved and they are so forgiven and they are so his.